Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am building a simple little cabin in the world of Granite Falls that is going to be for an angler or somebody who likes to go fishing. This is very much inspired by that new item that we got with the everyday clutter kits that includes a fishing rod on the wall with a couple of portraits and things like that. I just thought it was such a cute item and it really made me want to build a home for somebody who likes to fish. So I really hope you will enjoy this. If you do and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Now I am building this in a vacation world, but I made sure to include what you would need if this wasn't a vacation home. So you can place this in any world you would like. I think it would work best in worlds that have a lot of woods to them. So Moonlight Falls, is that what that's called? Moonlight Falls? <laughs> that might be what it's called in The Sims 3. But uh, the Werewolves world would be good. Glimmerbrook would be good. Um, the new world that came with High School Years, Copperdale would be good. Oh, it's Moonlight Mill, right? Moonwood Mill? Something like that. I don't know why I always get that one messed up, but... Any of the woodsy worlds would work nicely, or you could leave it here in Granite Falls where I built it. I just haven't built here in a really long time, and I thought it sounded like fun, so that's what I opted to do. And I really wanted this house to be a really simple shape of what I would think as a little cabin by the water, and uh, so that's what I went with. It's just a one-bedroom, one-bathroom home. I don't know exactly how much this comes out to be. I wasn't really paying attention to the price as I was uh, building this in a vacation world, but I imagine it's not too expensive. But right here, I decided I wanted to play around with terrain tools. I wanted it to be slightly raised up in the back, but I also wanted to incorporate some water. There is some like right off lot. There is a like little river, but I thought it would be nice to actually include some on this lot as well as like a bigger like nod to fishing. So I did that and had so much fun decorating those spaces. We end up getting like a dock over the water and lots of these spawners throughout that make it so there are fish and like bugs and stuff that spawn in the water. Uh, so I had a lot of fun with that. I think the last time I created any kind of home for somebody who likes to fish was way before we got the pond tool. So it was really cool to do this. I think the last one I did was a fisherman's tiny house, which was in the world of Sulani. So it's a very different vibe than this one. I will try to remember to link that one down below if you'd like to check it out as well. It's a, it's a really cute build and I really enjoy building in Sulani. I just don't do it too often because for some reason I don't feel like I'm that good at it and I wish we had more lots that weren't over the water. It's so cool that we can build over the water, but I wish we had some other options. There are a few lots that are not and those are the ones I tend to go for more often, but uh, let me know if there's any other Sulani builds you would like to see. I'm not sure how many I'm going to be doing this time of year because I'm more so concentrating on the fact that where I am, we're heading on into winter. Uh, so I'll probably be doing some more like snowy builds and stuff sometime soon. So that doesn't really fit with Sulani, uh, unfortunately. I think I could probably build some more stuff in this world of Granite Falls though, in the snow. I think that could be really fun. So let me know if you have any ideas that you would like to see. I'd love to implement them. Uh, but for right now, I'm just figuring out a little pathway up to the house I used a lot of these debug rock pieces. I love using these and just trying to place them as like organically as possible. There's only three different ones here. So sometimes it's really hard to make it look not <laughs> like it's the same three rocks, but I tried really hard and I think it came out okay. And I kept having to mess around with the terrain because it wasn't perfectly flat where I was placing them and they looked like they were floating. And I also added this overgrown grass that I thought looked so nice growing over parts of the paths. I also had a lot of fun with the terrain paint on this lot to get all sorts of different dirts and uh, rocks and stuff to make it look a little bit more realistic and like people have been walking through this area and I, I think it looks really cute in the end. I used mostly debug flowers. I'm pretty sure actually exclusively like show live edit objects plants and I am using a little bit of tool to resize a couple of things. I decided it looks really cool to size up three of the four five of these like pieces I have holding up the roof. It just looked a little bit more interesting that way and I also scaled up this wreath ever so slightly as decoration outside which I thought was really cute. I also adored using these flower boxes that we got with the werewolves pack. They look like a little drawer <laughs> that somebody pulled out of a dresser and put plants in 
And it just matched with the type of planes that I was thinking I would have on this lot. I also, since I have tool installed, decided to go through debug and grab a couple of fishing rods and rotate them with tool to put up on the front of the build. You can see me doing that now. I thought it would be a really cool idea to just place these over here. I opted for an adult one and a child one because they are different colors. I thought that that would look the best. So it's just a little decoration out here because I did try, I think I cut it out, but I did try to put the decoration from Everyday Clutter out on the front porch, but it looked a little odd because it has like paintings and stuff on it that I don't think you would hang outside and the spacing was just a little bit odd as well. So that ends up going in the house, but I did like the fishing rods I did put on the front porch. I also used this little piece from the Island Living expansion pack. It has like fish hanging off of it. So I thought that that was perfect. I also put a lot of these like broken down fences around the lot to add a little bit more character. And there should be getting a bunch of these spawners. So they're gonna look a little odd right now because we're in build mode. So there's just squares there, but when you're in live mode or live mode, depending on how you say it, I've heard so many different opinions on that. Uh, they will actually be like fish and stuff swimming around in that area and mosquitoes and lightning bugs. And it just makes the space feel so much more alive. And I really enjoy that. So that's what those are. If you're like, what are all those little squares you just placed down? I forget to add them sometimes, but I think it just adds so much more to a build when I do remember them. I also added a couple of buckets over here. I also end up ga uh, grabbing like a chair to put over there by the water as well as like a bucket of supplies and stuff. I had a lot of fun just trying to figure out what I wanted to put in this space. There's uh, not very much land to work with out front. It's all water, which I thought was really cool. So I put this bucket from the outdoor retreat pack, which is what this world came with. So very much inspired by that. Uh, the actual siding I'm using on the outside of this house is also from that pack, but the roof is from werewolves. I think it is so fun with the moss growing on it. And then I'm trying to figure out a layout for in here. And I really wanted to use the shelving unit from the Strangerville pack because it has just like a lot of supplies and stuff on it. And I feel like this is a cabin kind of deep in the woods away from everything. So I thought it would be nice to have some like survival supplies in here and stuff like that. So that is why I opted for that. I think it adds a little bit more character to this build. I Although I put this as a vacation home and I was thinking maybe you could come stay here, I'm thinking maybe this belongs to a family and one of their relatives used to like almost exclusively live here, uh, but maybe they're not around anymore and you haven't come back here in a very long time. So there's a couple of things just thrown around, uh, but it's not like in disrepair or anything. It's just a little bit older and has a couple of nods of like personal items here but they could come out here if they wanted and stay. And I just, I liked it. I was also kind of thinking of Hopper's Cabin a little bit from Stranger Things. So that might've inspired this a little bit, but I think it came out really, really cute in the end. I love decorating things in various styles like this and going for a little bit more rundown, cluttered spaces. So this was a blast to do. I also added some towels over here by the door. We have a couple of other like decorations throughout. I was going for a very wood everything. I decided the inside of this cabin was only going to use the cabin wood, uh, which I thought was a really nice decision. And it's a weird layout. So I decided over here to include a like stove top or a countertop oven that we got from Dream Home Decorator. I also used this old couch from the werewolves pack, which I thought was perfect for this space. And I put a TV over here next to the oven. Uh, that is one of the ones from the dumpster that you can get an eco lifestyle. I also got like this curtain from werewolves. I just thought the vibes in here were exactly what I wanted. I was really, really happy with how this came out. It's small, but it looks lived in and a little bit dated, but not like too messy. <laughs> Let me know if you agree and you understand the vibe I was going for in here because I just feel like it came out so good <laughs> and exactly how I wanted. So I just want to see if that comes across. Anyway, I do have a two seater table here in the middle and I just put a box of junk up there from the everyday clutter kit. And then I'm moving things around over here as well because I wanted to get that little shelf you could hang keys on and some mugs and stuff by the sink. I also grabbed a rug to put in here. I'm trying to think which one I grabbed. Oh, I, I grabbed one of the vampires ones. There's some like worn down swatches on those and I thought I added another spot for some color in this space. And then I'm just grabbing a couple, uh, a couple, a couple of overhead cabinets over here. These are the base game ones that match the counters that I did use. 
Uh, so I thought that, that just helped a little bit to add some clutter to the space. And then I got a corner cabinet over here in the hallway. Heading into the bedroom now, I added another window and a flower box out there and got the same curtain in this space in a different color. And I was actually inspired by one of my old builds to use this particular bed. I did a video yesterday where <laughs> I actually went back and looked at a lot of my old builds on the gallery. It's called Roasting My Own Builds. Some of them are okay, some were very questionable. Thank you for all of the feedback on that video and uh, suggestions on some of the builds to go ahead and go back and renovate. I think that can be a lot of fun, but I had forgot this bed had this watch and I thought it was really pretty. So I opted to use it in this house. I also got a little dresser right next to the bed and lots of artwork on the walls. I tried to keep this space like the rest of the house where there's a couple of clutter items or usable items throughout, but it's not overly busy, but it feels lived in. So I have some cracks and tears in the walls. I thought the checkerboard or the chessboard on this dresser was perfect. I really like that item from the Everyday Clutter Kit. It just feels like a good item to have around. It's like having a stack of board games or something, which I really hope we eventually get that in the game. The ability to do board games or puzzles or things like that with your Sims, because right now we have chess, Don't Make the Llama, some sort of game from the Star Wars pack, and we can play cards, I believe, with the card table. And I just think board games would be so cool and so would doing a puzzle and... I don't know, I feel like that could go well with a couple of different pack ideas we've all been talking about eventually wanting a Generations pack and speculating about it ever since the Sims Summit stream <laughs> that showed like a kid on a bike and a baby on like the mom being carried and I just, I really hope that happens uh, and uh, it, it would be a good time to add some more activities for your families to do as well. I'm so excited about the infant update next year. I can't wait to find out when it is. Part of me is like, they said early 2023. What if that means January 1st or like the first week of January? That would be awesome. I am just very excited about that. And there's going to be so many builds surrounded about around the uh, update. And I hope we do Dead Generations. I'm not putting all of my hope in it, but I am very excited for what's to come in 2023. For The Sims 4, I, this is my favorite game. I spend so much of my time building and thinking about this game. So I'm just excited for what's to come. I'm a little sad still that we didn't get an expansion pack for the holiday season, but it sounds like we're getting two expansions next year, which is really exciting. Uh, but anyway, this is pretty much the end of the inside of this build. I did get a couple of mounted fish on the wall in here and a couple more scratches and tears and then outside I decided to add a mailbox even though you don't need one because this is a rental lot. Uh, but that way, if you decided to place it in another world, you do have that and just getting an outdoor trash can as well. And I should be finishing up some landscaping, just doing a couple last minute additions of plants and stuff in areas that I thought looked a little bit too bare. And then we will be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that little notification bell, it'll let you know every single time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all soon. Bye everyone.